Ready or not, here we go again. We have another storm headed this way, just in case you didn't catch that earlier. Now, winter weather advisory has already been issued for it by the National Weather Service. It goes into effect midnight uh, tomorrow night, Friday, to midnight Saturday. Snowfall, like it always does, will vary. Higher elevations up to 10 inches, lower elevations closer to that one. And like the other storms, we're going to get a lot of wind out, the, out of this. So for East Idaho, blowing, drifting snow, a white knuckle day for sure on Friday if you're going to be tra traveling. Nothing to really show you on the map as far as snow goes right now. Just a lot of clouds racing in. This is the leading edge of that storm that has prompted the National Weather Service to issue that winter weather advisory. Now, we do have some snow that's trying to develop over the central mountains. More over, uh, over northeastern Oregon will push across. So, Sabbath and night, you may see some snow. Definitely snow in the forecast tonight for Stanley. Chalice, there's a chance you could get some snow overnight, even as far south and east as Arco. So, heads up on that. But we won't see it here in the Snake River Plain until tomorrow night. So we still have a window of opportunity to get out and about and get to where you need to be. That window will close quickly this time tomorrow evening. So clouds are on the increase because of that storm tonight. Still awfully cold. Three for a low in Idaho Falls tonight. Rexburg all the way down to nine. We'll be back in the teens in Pocatello. Scattered snow developing in the central mountains. Hit and miss. Low temperatures. Not quite as cold as they were last night. No more below zero, at least like what we had last night in both Chalice and Salmon. So good news there. We'll stay above zero. 15 for a low in Stanley. A snowy one overnight there for sure. Partly cloudy for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Some areas down in the single digits. One spot definitely below zero. Yellowstone at minus two. 11 will be the low in Preston. Just a partly cloudy sky and certainly a colder one. In Montpelier, five for a low, so bundle up over in Bear Lake County. Mostly cloudy for the southeast quarter tomorrow for your Thursday. Temperatures will rise above freezing in Lava Hot Springs, Malad City, and Preston. And for the upper highlands in western Wyoming, a chance of snow in the afternoon. Those chances go up tomorrow night. High temperatures warming up a little bit, up to 38 in uh, Driggs. So it's kind of the warm before the storm. Chance of snow for the Central Mountains. We're above freezing for high in Salmon and in Ledore. And for the Snake River Plain, just a lot of clouds. A gray day, unlike that blue sky we had. Yeah, gray skies, but at least we'll get above freezing in Pocatello at 36. Idaho Falls, a high of 30. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer's seven-day forecast. Late tomorrow night into Friday, snow likely with a bunch of wind. We're looking at wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So that will blow everything around, including, unfortunately, the snow this weekend dry good weather to be traveling this weekend and we warm up on next Tuesday it's possible we could see not just snow but rain next Tuesday for Pocatello at least I don't fall seven day forecast cloudy tomorrow snow likely along with wind for Friday but things settle down just in time for the weekend it does get a little colder as we go into Saturday Teton area we got a chance of snow late tomorrow, snow likely on Friday with chances of snow all the way into the weekend. Another chance of snow Tuesday and Wednesday. And for the Central Mountains, okay, we got a break, kind of. Yeah, chance of snow tomorrow, but here it comes, just opens up for Friday, and then we're dry the weekend.